now it's just more of the same thing that it feels like we've been doing forever. We're just unscrewing the bolts so we can take off the skin. We'll see how far we get. It's a lot of work, but we're up for the challenge. Hi, I'm Seth. I'm Johnsy. With our son, Eman, and our dog, Luna. We are continuing the never-ending project of removing skins from the trailer. Hopefully today we'll have all of the skin removed. Uh, we're going to do the windows on the other side, the side that doesn't have the door, and uh, the front window. And then take the skin off and hopefully assess the damage and make a game plan from there. So subscribe if you want to see what happens on our Shasta adventure. Subscribe if you want to see what happens with a trailer with no metal skin on it when it's still winter outside. <laughs> and just a tarp over it. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Thank you. Can you go inside and take off the, yeah. the thing? Mm -hmm. taking all the windows out from this side so we can take the skin off. It's not sketchy at all back here. This is pretty sturdy. Area. Not like the other areas. The fence is not sturdy. Is anyone a fence contractor in Boise, Idaho? We need a new fence. Our neighbor brought us this cool magnetic bowl to catch our bolts. An ambidextra screwer. Looks like they goofed it up on that corner right there a bunch. Yeah. The rest of it should be free. It's all one piece. Hmm? It's a crazy long piece. Samoa, what's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? This is why you have to take the back and the front off first, because if you see here, the front is crimped over the side of the side skin. So if you try to take the side off, you have to lift the front skin off to take the side off. So to reverse engineer, you have to do the front and the back first to remove the skin. The front and the back were what was last put on. There are very few tiny nails. Well, like this is like more than a foot apart. And there's one there and one there. It's like not very many of them. 
there's staples underneath these nails is what's really holding the sidewall on. These lights come off with just no, they're just like siliconed on there. Oh, this one's harder than the other ones. But it's nothing, it's not screwed on, just pops right off. So I'm gonna come through and just cut this wire close to the fixture. The other ones, there's plenty of wire down inside of there. And then I just gotta unscrew these two screws. And there's a little bit of butyl tape underneath there and the whole fixture will come right off. This is what the staples look like. They're long, rusted, and stuck in there. Yuck! Ah! It seems scary! <laughs> oh gosh, there is wasps in there, but they're dead. Oh gosh! <laughs> There's still some in there. It's really in there. There we go. I told you the name of this video could be unscrewing. Alright, inside of here, Seth, it says Use 5 30 second drill from bottom side to open four holes. What does that mean? Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> but I removed this. Thin mints. What's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Okay, so we are looking at this. There's a bunch of insulation missing. We assumed it would be on the skin. It's not. Where did all the insulation go? Not there. Yeah, this one, the wall needs to be rebuilt. Wow. Yeah, even like here's in between the frame needs no bueno too. It's not supposed to happen. It's like better. here kind of hiding a little bit so if we go underneath this kind of turn the screwdriver a little bit it pops out and then you can put the screwdriver behind the nail turn it a little bit like that and then you should have enough space to get pliers on the nail and then you can give it a little half turn and pull it out uh there's some silicone up here around this light slash fan. I'm gonna try to take the screws out, but if you can see this first screw right here on the corner, 
just coated in silicone. I'll work on the other ones first and we'll see what happens. I may climb up, I may make Seth climb up because I'm secretly scared of heights but I'm trying to conquer my fears. Oh no. What? I just broke my razor blade. This wood isn't bad up here. It doesn't look ruined. So all that silicone did its job. Fourteen hundred thirty pieces. This is the tool that is working the best for me. It, I don't know what it's for, but I used it once to break open a geode. Seth says it's some sort of like pick. So that's what I'm liking to get it, the staples out. Oh, Those box are... elder bugs. Those are box elder bugs. There's like thousands of them. There's a bunch right there too. Okay, and then honey? <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what is all this? That's a different kind of bug, isn't it? Yeah. What is it? Some kind of other type of wasp. No, that's something else. That's like flies. Fly? That's kind of flies. Fly. Those are flies. What in the world? This is like there's full of bugs. <laughs> Bug Central. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Five guys is here. Time to take a break. The roof is free. And we just gotta figure out how to get it off. What do you think? Looks like someone is destroying a trailer. You are gonna stand here with this two by four. Push the up. Hold it like that. I'm gonna be on the other side, also doing the same thing. And you're kind of just gonna walk with a two by four here in this spot. And while mom pulls the rest, the whole piece of the roof off. Did not leak at all. That's good. That's what it looks like. Okay. Ooh. Are you okay? Yep. All right, this is the second time you're getting a Shasta tour. If you want to see the first Shasta tour before we did anything, you can click this video right up here.
Thanks for watching us remove the skin from our trailer. We are glad that it's finally over and all the skin is off. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Lights. Camera action. <laughs> action. Hello. We are continuing the never and dirty blah 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 blah. <laughs> That's perfect. Let's do that.